Can I get a B32? B32. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today is all about bingo. Bingo, you ask? I designed a friendship bingo card. I think it's really fun. I think you could send it to anyone. And let's see how many of those little things you can fill out. That's that's me punching a bingo card. I'm like that. To see this fun bingo themed stamp set, stick around. That card project is coming up next. Here's a look at the products I'll be using for today's card. And this card is going to feature my friendship bingo stamps. And for this set, I have designed, let me zoom in here, a bunch of cute little friendship greeting sentiments. Things like, calls me at strange hours, has done questionable things with me, would give me the shirt off their back, lives more than 50 miles away, knows my real hair color. This is a card for your true friends, and the whole idea is to create a cute little bingo card. And this will fit nicely onto a card panel for the card. So that's the stamp set behind this. There is a really small die set for cutting out the word friendship for the little bingo pieces, the star in the center. That's an optional add-on, but we're gonna use this, and I'm gonna be stamping with Versifying Claire for the main body and I'm going to emboss the bingo. So we're gonna start with this, let this completely dry because it's a pigment ink and then I'll be embossing the bingo and we'll go from there. I'm gonna take the stamp off of the acetate and just place it kind of right about there on the panel is gonna work just great. Oh, there's a piece of hair. <sighs> that's probably my hair. That's how, well, that's how it goes in this room. I'm shedding, I'm shedding like it's spring. Okay. And I'm gonna put it basically about here because when you trim it down, I will show you the die that I like to use, but you don't need the die, you just need to trim it to size. So we are gonna start here. Pick this up and I'm gonna press this down really well just to make sure it's nicely pressed on. And I'm going to take some post-it tape because I wanna mask off the bingo area, okay? I do not want my ink to get on here, so I'm gonna go like that. It's gonna get very inky, so I think I'm gonna grab my tweezers too, just in case. I don't wanna get my hands all inky, but I wanna make sure that I get the full frame. So we're gonna use the Versifying Claire Nocturne. This is such a good, such a good crisp ink, but it is pigment, which means it's oil-based, and that means you have to let it dry before you go anywhere near this area with embossing powder, which is what I'm planning for the top. Okay, now don't forget, <laughs> take that off. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And we're gonna bring this down and transfer. Now I'm gonna walk my hands over this. I have a pressure tool as well, so maybe I'll bring that in because I want to give the ink a chance to transfer. Sometimes with the Misty, you know, there might be areas that don't want to transfer as well. So you just kind of take your time and press. But the beautiful thing is I can stamp this again in the same place. I forgot to mention I have a waffle flower grip mat. Let's see how that did. Oh, that looks really good. I have a grip mat that holds the paper in place. Oh, that looks really good. I don't even know if I'm gonna stamp it again. That is so crisp. So that's the idea. We're stamping first. Maybe, oh, I just got, I knew I was gonna do it. Maybe a light tap. So let's go here again, like that. Take you off, get you out of the way, bring it down and just press. I'm gonna just let this sit and dry completely before I move on to embossing. Actually, while I'm here, I want to clean this off really well. And what I usually do with my pigment inks is I will start with my damp cloth, like that. Get most of it off. Actually, that's coming off really well, so maybe I don't need to scrub it. But when I'm completely done with all of this, I will bring in my Hero Arts scrubber. I just put a clean pad on here. I love this tool because you can 
use these, wash them, and then Velcro them right back on. And I will use some stamp cleaner as well just to get all that pigment ink off. But again, this is clearing really nicely. Now I'm gonna leave this in place while all of this dries so that I can emboss Bingo up top. I have an idea that I think will be just fine. I am gonna take uh, a post-it note and just line it right on the edges here, almost like I'm just masking. Then I don't have to worry about embossing powder getting where I don't want it. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, I didn't feel like waiting. So I think that's enough clearance. I gotta make sure. Yes, it is. Okay, because I wanna have, I wanna have a gold bingo. We're gonna take some anti-static powder. Go like that. Powder it up just so that I've been handling it a lot with my fingers. Oh, sorry, my sweatshirt's really dirty. It's not, it's just old, so I forgot to change. Oh, now, now you know my secret. It's actually clean, it's just I can't get it off. So we're just, we're, we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna ignore that for now. Okay, we're gonna ink up our bingo really well. Okay, with the Versamark and press, okay? Transfer that, make sure we get it all really nicely. I'm gonna try and stamp it again. All right, okay. And I wanna make sure that I do put a lot of pressure right there because that's the area in my Misty that I swear I don't press hard enough. And that's why I like this little tool. All right, there we go. Now, let's see if it worked. I'm going to add my powder. This is Brutus Monroe Gilded. Just go like that. Get it all on there nicely. Okay. This way I know that none of it is gonna stick, I think. You know what I mean? To the to the first fine clear. Because then all I have to do is take this off like that. Get them off. Okay. See, it took a little of the with it. Oh, I just completely messed that up. I guess we aren't as smart as we think we are. Okay, all right. This this could go into my, to my blooper reel. I'm staying with it. I'm staying with it because here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna funnel you back in like that. I think we're gonna be fine. Okay, but I do need to brush away a little, I think because I was handling this so much. So see here, we gotta go like that. Get those little guys out. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna melt the powder. Ooh, good. Okay, so now I have my shiny bingo, right? And what I need to do is trim this down and it's going to help also to flatten. So let me grab a die. So here is the size. This is three and three quarter by five. And this is what I mean by if you have a die like this, great. If not, you just trim it so that these three sides are the same and you leave a little room at the top. That's how I envisioned it to go onto a panel. And so now we'll cut this out. All right, pick it up. And now I have my bingo card. Now to do the other things to finish it out. I am going to mat my panel in matte gold cardstock. So I took the additional waffle flower layers dies. These are just like, I think an eighth of an inch on all sides bigger. You can also just mat it and trim it by, you know, with the trimmer, but I'm going to cut this out. And now I'll have a matted pan, a panel to mat, but then I also saved a little piece in the center. So this is going to go behind the bingo card. So I got an idea. I don't know if this is going to work, but that's, you know, that's what you do when you craft, right? You, 
you think to yourself, is this going to work? And then you give it a try. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut our friend freebie and our friendship out of some, we're going to stamp on vellum. We're going to do a star on, on white, and we're going to do it all in gold again. Okay, so I'm going to pick these up like that. Make sure everything's here. I'm going to powder up. Not as critical on the vellum, of course. And let's get our embossing ink. And let's see. The friend freebie is so tiny. I don't know how this is going to work. Like the type is very small. But, well, you know, we'll give it a try. We won't go, to, we'll press hard on the star. We'll tap on the friendship, light on the friend freebie. Let's see, it's hard for me to see that, but actually, I think that looks really good. I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna try more. And if friend freebie doesn't work, I'm not too concerned. And put this on. I think that's not bad. Oh, friend freebie actually looks great. That's a shocker, that's so tiny. I just need to dust a little bit off here where I was handling it and pressing it down. I tell you, there's oils on your hands that you don't even know are there, but they're there. Okay. Isn't it? No. No. <laughs> there it is. Didn't even know. Oops. Okay. I thought it was on the other side. Okay, that's going to be great too. We'll we'll make it work. And actually, see this is where sometimes too you can use a craft pick for little parts that stick out weird. Okay. Now, let's melt these things. Now I have two little goldy shiny things. I am going to grab the dies and cut all of these out real quickly off camera. Next I'm going to take a little tape runner here and just go right, right on the edge here so that this guy is going to glue nicely. Oh, please don't run out. <gasps> Did I run out? Oh shoot. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I ran out. <laughs> This always happens. You know what? It's just this video is not my day. I am down to my last, uh, my last little guy here, and I did just place an order for more. This is, it's just a nice tape runner, and I, I love it. So I'm kind of addicted to this, uh, in a good way. Okay. And coming up like that. And now let me just stand up over this so I can see what I'm doing because sometimes lining these things up is a little tricky, but it's just a very, it's going to be a very thin little gold border like that. Isn't that cute? It just kind of elevates it, right? Okay, let's see. Yep, and that looks good on the back. Okay. So, I don't know if, look how cute that is though, friendship bingo. See, I may just let that float up there, haven't decided. And then for friend freebie, you know what? I might, I might just put a color behind here, but here's what I'm thinking. I want to grab a color that is mostly see-through, so I need to get some ink. I'm going to take the dauber. This is the dauber, okay? And actually, I should clean this off. It's got a little, it's got a little bit of stuff on it. Come here now, get clean. There we go. All right, we've got the dauber, and we've got our bingo card, and you know, I have someone in mind for this, because I did make one of these cards already, and I sent it into the Simon Says Stamp office, and you can, well, actually, I'll stick a little inlay. Oh! 
that didn't work at all. Hold on here. I uh, I already sent that card into the office, so that card is kind of missing, but I'll put it in light. It was very cute. And I want something pink, and I want something that's light, and I know that my bestie does not call me at strange hours, does not know my cell phone by heart, has known me for more than five years. So that's one. Oh, I didn't do a very good job with that. That's okay. Make sure we get ink on all of it. Um, does think I'm really pretty. Okay, kind of rock it a bit. There we go. And these don't have, and does definitely knows my real hair color. No, because that, of course she does. You can see it has slept at my house. Yes, uh, has done questionable. Honestly, on something like this, I think I could do, uh, yeah, questionable things, that's for sure. Knows all my secrets, probably not. I have some that I keep, you know, into myself. Uh, would take, would give me the shirt off of their back, indeed. Lives more than 50 miles away, 100%. So you got you kind of get the idea, right? But I like this having the pink and the gold. I think it's really cute. Usually takes a plane to see me. That is true. Tolerates my craft obsession. I mean, all of this knows me more than 10 years. I'm basically gonna get a bingo either way. Does not text me all the time. Does not share far too many memes. That's, that's another friend. Is also loved by my family, true. So, knows I will always be there. Can tell me anything always, yes. Thinks I'm a true friend, yes. That one, not true. Uh, has known me for like ever. Is pretty much my favorite person. I mean, I could put that on everyone. And I think that's my bingo card. Okay, so isn't that cute? And if you use a nice light dye ink, you're gonna see through it no problem. But you can also see why you wanna make sure if you're using a pigment ink that you don't, uh, that you don't stamp too soon. Okay, now what I need to decide is for my friend Freebie, maybe I will just stamp a, a nice little um, star in the middle and let's just put the star right there. I'm just gonna hold it in place and let that transfer like that. Because then, see, a bingo card has to have a star on it. And then we'll do our little friend freebie. Now you know what I could do to add this. I could use Xyron, couldn't I, for these little, little tinies? Because I wanna put the friend freebie, although now you can barely read that it says, hmm. You know what, I may just have to stamp that after all. But here, I could use, uh, I might just use a, a like a little dip of glue. I'm gonna stamp Friendship Freebie, not overlaid like that. I'm just gonna stamp it in black ink. I should let that dry for just a second though before I do it, but do you think that would be cute to have the little Friendship Bingo just tacked on and actually, I could just put, well, let's see here. I could put, because I want it to be right about here. Friendship, bingo. Because then you're gonna be able to read it no problem. All right, we'll do that. Let me get a note card prepped first before I stamp over this. You know what, I'm actually gonna do something I don't do very often, but I had a piece of cotton candy sitting here so I'm going to score, it's going to be a book fold, you know, side fold and open. So let's go here. I just didn't want to cut down another piece and score this at four and a quarter. Fold it. And let's take the Teflon bone folder. Give that a nice press. All right. So then I have my little book fold, right? It opens like that. I don't do a lot of cards like that. I, I prefer top fold, but I think this will be cute. Coming down, press, press. Now, this, I will pop, see how cute that is on the pink. It's just kind of elevated a little bit. I like that. Now, here's the thing. Am I going to screw this up at the last minute? You know what? I am going to put friend freebie over the top. Where did you go? Oh, here you are. Just to, you know, just to make it work. So let's get friend freebie. Let's put it at a little angle like that. Okay. 
And I think with this, if I ink it this, I only have to do it once, but I still have to let it dry. So tap, 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 friend freebie. Did I get it? Good. Yep. Okay. Bring it down, drop, and stamp. That, my friends, is how you don't mess up a card. I have foam tape, the Big Mama roll on the back here. I actually inlaid a little piece of 80 pound cardstock, a little scrap, because I wanted it, I didn't want it to dip down at all in the center. And sometimes it, I feel like when you cut out the back, it has the potential to do that. So we are going to pop this friend right onto this cute cotton candy note card, like that. I love the gold. Okay, and now, like I said, I could, I could Zyra on that, that on, couldn't I? You know what, there's a little bit of, uh, gosh, this card is, I have this little uh, dr drill, for lack of a better word. It will take off extra embossing powder that shows up where you don't want it. You have to be very careful. Apologize, it sounds a little like a drill. Okay, so, yeah, see, I feel like if I do Xyron, what if I did, no, let's just do liquid glue. Liquid glue is gonna do what I need to do. It's gonna dry clear. So I'm gonna take a little bit, and actually I'm gonna get it started here. I wanna make sure I have a good flow control. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna do a few dots. And I think this isn't gonna be enough to hold it, right? It, it should be. Let's get our brick ready. And then it has that sort of floaty see-through quality. Uh, and I think, I'm just gonna drop this down with my hands, like I said, I want it to start where the B is and just go into the G. I want to drop my brick on here and go like that. There we go. We're going to let it sit. This took far longer than I thought it would, but you know, so now I have my little friendship bingo, right? But we're not done yet. Let's open this up. I am going to hold this in place and I've put here uh, the one that says, oh gosh, what does it say? It says, I won when I became friends with you. And I'm gonna cover that up because I don't wanna glue myself accidentally. But I'm just gonna use uh, regular ink for this. I don't wanna have to wait for it to dry. So I'm gonna use a little ink cube from Gina K. And yes, I am free range stamping. I'll do one practice like that. Ow, I nailed that. All right, and we're gonna put it on the inside here. I love this little black ink cube, especially for little greetings like this. And then all I have to do is take my block and put it there. And that is the inside of the card. And that is my finished card project. I won when I became friends with you. Friendship bingo, all that fun stuff for your bestie or one of your good, good friends to look at. And I think this is a really fun card. So that's the finished card project. I hope you like this idea. I think it's really fun and I'm looking forward to sharing it with my bestie. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you. So hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Here are a few more card projects that you may be interested in checking out. I'll see you in those videos.